Hey guys, welcome to the video. This is a new Dyson Ear Straight. Going into this unboxing, I actually had no idea what to expect from the Dyson Air Straight. I just knew that it had dual functionality, which means that it's both a hair dryer and a straightener. This air straight also differs from traditional hair straighteners because of the fact that it doesn't use hot plates. It actually straightens hair using high velocity airflow. The airflow used to straighten hair comes out of the sides of the air straight from these vents. This thing also has a handful of modes. It has a temperature and airflow control mode, a cool shot, and a different setting for wet and dry hair. The setting that you're currently using will be displayed on its LED screen. One thing that doesn't come with this Dyson is a box or a bag for storage, but it does have this cute little mat. So I just got out of the shower and now I'm gonna try out the air straight features so that includes the drying part of my hair and also the wet to dry straightening part which I actually assume is damp to dry I don't know we'll try it out I have pretty pretty thick hair guys so it usually takes me ages to do my hair because of how thick it is so I always have to split it in a lot of layers I want to see how long it'll take me to do this this is the Dyson Air Straight it has a little LED screen right here to tell you what it's doing and what setting you're on which is really nice because there's a lot of setting on this thing um, we're going to start off by just closing this holding it together and just putting this up I also have naturally poofy and curly hair. It'll be interesting how I look using the air straight with this. I have no expectations because I actually did no research on this. It does a little bit of cleaning, like three seconds of blast, cold blast, to clean whatever is in the air straight. I do think I still have to split my hair, so I'm going to split it in two and hope that's enough. Okay, so now I'm going to open the Dyson by just flicking it down. <laughs> like that. And I just have to blend it through my hair. So there's a little air, like, like holes there. That's where the air comes out. So when you run it through here, it'll blow dry the ends as you're running it past. And it does something really cool as well. So when I turn it on and then I'm holding it like this, it does regular, it's like a regular airflow. But when I press on it, it does a boost of airflow. So I'm just using the wet setting here. This is wet setting. And then because I haven't... Because I haven't moved in like five seconds, it automatically shuts off the airflow. If I move it,
What a man. So it takes way shorter than usual. Kind of still exploring like the features, so I don't think I'm moving as fast as I could be, but it's pretty fast. This is what it did with wet to dry. So I didn't have to dry my hair and then straighten it. I just went wet to dry. Gosh, my hairbrush is throwing a fit. It's not glossy straight, but it's straight and that's what we're trying to achieve here. So, so now that it's dry, right, I might do another run with the dry settings. I might do another run with the dry settings and see how it changes it. Um, I don't know what the best like method is. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to like um, straighten everything and then dry straighten and then cool it because there's a lot of settings um, But I'm gonna try this way so that I can like have faster results and see what it's meant to look like So like, as you can see it does go smoother like it this side is definitely a bit rougher and this side is a, a little bit more shinier. I don't know if that's placebo, but like I see a difference. I don't know if you do. the bottom half done it's pretty darn straight if I say so myself guys it looks pretty good do you see the difference in a total of like 12 minutes I did half of my hair okay now I'm gonna do the top half and see what happens Now I'm gonna do the dry setting. Guys, really quickly, do we see a difference between the one that's been dry straightened and the one that's been wet straightened? Like, you can see how rough this one is, and how this one is a little bit more shiny. This is what I achieved on the top half in 12 minutes. So I'm assuming if I did do it in real time, the whole full head would take me like a half an hour. Half an hour for straightening hair from wet. 
It's pretty impressive. Like, look. Look how straight it is. Now I'm gonna do the cold shot, which apparently locks the straightness in. I do the cold shot in my air wrap. I don't really see a difference. What really holds in the curls when you hairspray it, but... to say like, like it's great like dyson always eats y'all having texture here so i'm leaving these curves in because i really want to make sure it goes like this okay guys that's it with the unboxing i didn't really have anything else to say except the results speak for itself here's what it looks like um nine doing a little unboxing so thank you thank you so much goodbye Goodbye, 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 good.